How are you? Not the best. No. Oh, it's okay. No, I mean that. It's okay to not be your best. It's okay to not be at maximum. It's okay to need help. And really, it's okay to not even not even want to be better, to to be a little hopeless sometimes. Toxic positivity is something that I think invests too much in solutions and not enough in balance. Balance is a word that is often kind of a misnomer because it implies balance between two. A lot of people think of two things when they're talking about a balance because they picture the scales. What if I, 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 what if I told you? What if I told you? Balance was about knowing that there's a third thing. Balance is about triangles. Balance is about trig, I know. Trigonometry was where a lot of people stopped understanding math because algebra, I mean, a lot of people stopped understanding math and algebra too, but um, trigonometry is another layer of logic that unless you had an okay teacher, it makes sense if trigonometry was where you struggled because triangles are special. Triangles are very, very special and three is a magic number. So when you're presented with a, uh, a dichotomy, uh, two, two absolutes, um, a binary, perhaps, let's, let's talk about the binary, yeah? Masculinity and femininity. That does not mean there are only two options just because you can only come up with masculinity and femininity. At first, there's meeting in the middle, but then there's also a third thing. There's always a third thing. Because you can conceive of masculinity and femininity as sort of like um, a red and gr uh, red and blue pigments doesn't really matter which is which. Just work with me here. The combination of those two being purple, but then there's also possibility for lack of pigment, white. So much pigment that it's not even purple; it's practically black. And then there's also a third color, yellow. There's always a third color. There's three primary colors. There's three colors that make up light. There's on a screen, cyan, yellow, magenta. There are three um, parts to a, a number line, the middle. Um, zero and then either side the positive and the negative and that is also representative of stasis uh, change and the positive and negative and then um, what was the third thing I was thinking of I think. oh um, it's like no no I forgot I already forgot so it's okay to not know what you're talking about it's okay to lose your train of thought And it's okay for people to say things out of pocket and you're in the middle of filming and you get distracted. It's okay. It's okay to be distractible. We probably all have ADHD. I sure do. And I never got diagnosed. It's okay to not be diagnosed. That's another one. It's okay if you don't know what's going on. Technically, you do know, maybe. It's all right if you didn't get told though doesn't mean you're not valid doesn't mean you're not going through what you're going through doesn't mean it's not understandable just means you didn't get labeled a certain way and the labels aren't you okay 
So we're back to the binary with this one because labels are only descriptors. Um, they are language we use to communicate differences and, and similarities. They're not, um, they're not definitions. I'm not defined by my labels and you don't have to be either. I define my labels for myself so that they are more useful. For example, I went by non-binary as, as an identity for a long time, but I no longer think that I am non-binary because just because I comprehend non-binary genders doesn't mean I have one. I am just a dude who happens to not look very dude-like, which means even though, <sighs> you know, there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack there, but what it does mean for me is that I can be uh, in my mind just myself and I don't have to constantly be adding addendums or questioning or doubting. There, there will be doubt. I have plenty of doubt. I, I have chronic self-questioning tendencies. Um, whether or not that's OCD, again, we've yet to be diagnosed over here. We've yet to be diagnosed, but Doesn't mean you can't understand. Doesn't mean we can't move forward. I think it's important that we remember who we are, that we remember who we were, and remember that we can be different in the future. That was the third thing. The zero positive and negative is past, present, and future. And maybe it's just me because I see time as nonlinear and it's this spiraling thing. But positive and negative don't necessarily mean, because there's four quadrants, aren't there? There's two axes. It doesn't just go the one way. But then really, there's more than that because there's a third axis somewhere and we live in 3D space, right? There's this wonderful video called Not Not, where you can uh, see what it's like to live in hyperbolic space. Um, it kind of makes you feel like you're tripping when you're watching it, but I think it's really neat. Okay, I'm going to...